Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I will be replacing the brake master cylinder in my 2003 F-150. So let's get started. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is, I took some paper towels and I shoved that under here. Um, Cause you're gonna disconnect these two lines and you don't wanna get brake fluid anywhere on the paint or anything, it'll eat it away. And this one right here is gonna be an 11 millimeter. And I'm using a line wrench, that way I don't strip out this here. So go ahead and loosen that up. Pull that guy out. And I'm going to take just a like a newspaper bag and shove that over this line just to keep it from leaking everywhere just to collect some of that brake fluid and I'm gonna do the same thing to this line here but this one's gonna be a 16 millimeter so go ahead and loosen that guy and pull him off and if you're having troubles getting these off you can always spray them with some penetrating oil to help uh, loosen them up some Pull that guy off. Same thing, I'll take another plastic bag and just shove over it. And then the next you're gonna remove these two nuts here going onto the brake booster. And those are gonna be a 14 millimeter. Get your socket in there. Okay, once you get those two off, you can go ahead and pull the master cylinder out. Be careful not to tilt it too much since it's still full of brake fluid. And then you can see you can pull off this connector here. Maybe. Just like that. Okay guys, just got back from the parts store. Uh, here's my new master cylinder. There's the part number. Just got it from Advanced Auto Parts. Um, and I just want to mention on mine, I don't have cruise control. Um, if you guys do have cruise control, you'll have a line coming out of there. Um, but since mine doesn't, there's no line there. So, And it did come with instructions on bench bleeding and then you got these two plugs here that we'll put in once I pull those out for when we uh, bench bleed it. So to bench bleed it you just want to put it in a vise. Um, I just put a rag around it just so you don't damage it. And just put it in the vise here and tighten it up. And you want to make sure it's level in the vise there. And then you can go ahead and open your cap. So go ahead and pull these uh, plugs out of here. And then you can go ahead and stick these plugs that came with it for the bench bleeding process. Go ahead and screw those in. Tighten them up. You don't have to over tighten them because they're just plastic. And 
and then you'll want to grab your new brake fluid. I got the DOT 3 plus 4. And then go ahead and fill up your master cylinder here. And you can put your cap on. And you can grab just a tool. I'm just grabbing this nut driver here. And you're going to stick it in the piston here. And, and you're going to push in no more than an inch. And you're going to repeat that process and try to get all the bubbles out of there. It's going to bleed everything inside here. And you want to just keep doing it until it gets pretty firm on you. Once you're done with that, um, and you can feel the resistance, it's not moving more than an eighth, and go ahead and pull it out of your vise and leave these two plugs in, and then you can just bring it straight over to the brake booster and start putting it on. So just like before, uh, it's pretty much reverse process. So go ahead and plug in your connector here. And you hear that click. Go ahead and slide it on your booster here. Grab your two nuts. Throw those on. Once you get those on, you can go ahead and start connecting your lines. I'll we'll just do this big one first and pull out this plug. Thing for your smaller line here. Once you get that somewhat started. And grab your 11 millimeter line wrench and go ahead and tighten that guy up. You want to make sure these are just pretty snug. You don't want to over tighten them. So that's pretty snug. Alright guys, so that's about it. Uh, like I said, once you're done, uh, getting everything tightened up, you'll want to bleed the whole system. And I just use this Motive product, Products Power Bleeder. It makes the life a lot easier, and I can do it by myself. Um, and when you do bleed, I always just start furthest, um, furthest from the massive cylinder. So I'll start at the passenger rear, then I'll move over to the driver rear, and then passenger front, and then uh, driver front. And um, just repeat that process if your brakes are still spongy, and that should be it. Please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.